Hey, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion Quest Mods. So, we're starting off with the uh, vampire lair, part of a vampire hunting, the Order of the Virtuous Blood expansion. So, we were told to check the Blue Road between Chaden Hall and the Imperial City. No quest markers. But there is a vampire lair right here in the center. So I'm gonna check that out. Uh, we're gonna go through, uh, gonna stealth it. Just use invisibility to kill three NPCs that we have to be vampires. I wouldn't even be able to use the invisibility without the void seed, the uh, mage doomstone, because I only have 203 magicka with that. I know it's a Nord warrior, but there's just too many vampires here and it's hard to uh, really do anything. Hey, please, oh, join no. Have you seen all talking to each other. Oh. Hello. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? So there's three that are labeled differently. This one. It seems Sunset Isle has become... Two others down here. Hello. Hi there. What's going on? Who if it's a I have slain a very powerful vampire in Baron Cave. With him out of the way, other vampires should know that this area is not safe for them. Then perhaps it will be safe to travel the blue road again. Except there's like 20 other vampires in here. So I'm thinking maybe you just have to kill uh, Jormil. Because he's the one with the note. Later. My lieges, every vampire in this lair is uncomfortable with the hunt pack presence. They are not certain about Jormil's powers, and they are constantly disdaining our group's uncivilized, uncivilized ways. I suggest setting an example by destroying the patriarch of the Rumar clan. The Rumar clan has been almost completely destroyed by the latest events so we wouldn't have problems with the few remnants if the Patriarch were destroyed. His followers could be integrated into our clan or thrown in the fire with their leader. By destroying him, we would send a message to the other clans of Baron Cave, and we would be free of dissidents for a while. I shall keep, your, keep to my work, my masters. Yours to command your agent among the flock. So yeah, I'm sure there's more to that later on. Over here, let's go ahead and kill this guy too. Those should come in handy. Uh, I don't want to take that too heavy.
yeah, the increased damage to weapons really makes uh, the stealth route. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Audacious Majory. It allows me to use the spells, so. It's got damage 26 fatigue right now from using the invisibility. Yeah, it lets me use the spells that I'm not able to use, but it also has effects like that. Sometimes it'll even kill you outright from shock damage or damage to health. There we go. Yeah, because my illusion is 20. Hello, who's there? Pretty sure this is a journeyman spell, like see. Right now I have 21 weakness to magicka. Yes. How goes it? Fantastic. Thanks for asking. Fantastic. Farewell. And there is something up where it lowers my settings every once in a while. I guess when there's too many NPCs in the room. Oh no, it's good now. So we took care of the vampire there. took care of the vampire and then we'll go check in on Marindin. So, what happened was... I guess they relabeled the house. If you'll excuse house. me, I don't have... So it's no longer Serider's house. Our brother returns to the fold. Vampires to slay. I never would have imagined that so many vampires were living so close to my cabin. Good job. You have done the residents of Chaden Hall and all travelers a great service. Vampires do slay. People in Hackdirt have been having more problems. They are being attacked in their beds at night. Our information is sort of garbled. Garbled? Something about the brethren and deep ones. These names seem to refer to the clan of the vampires, which must have a nest nearby. If you could deal with this problem, I am sure the people of Hector would love you and view you as their savior. I'm sure that's a joke. You really know how to fight against vampires. You are really talented. Facing vampires is a matter of being aware. You must train yourself to be aware of their attacks. I know when to dodge and when to strike. You could say it's like killing any other living being, but it's not. You're, if you're not aware, you'll be infected and you'll be turned. So please train yourself to cheat. Oh, okay. I, that gave me a uh, resistance to. I oh, know that's something else. Gave me resistance. That doesn't. That gave me resistance to disease. At least there are a few. If any, since you're bring excellent, another va so I think if you do vampire dust to sell, it sells them in yeah in bulk. Sure, ten for two hundred and fifty thousand. Oh, and now I can expand. 
I've been thinking about expanding our operations. I'd like to make you a full member of the order instead of a honorary member. All right, I'm in. Splendid. You are now a brother superior of the order of the virtuous blood. That's way too long. What is we decided to call it, right, Gillen? Right. Well, I'm glad you accept it, because to be honest, we were running out of money to pay you with anyway. You what? Well, we've been paying you with money that Serator left here, but that has been running out. We need donors to help finance the order. Greythoat and Gillen have been trying to come up with ideas. Maybe you should talk with them. Our uh, brother Rich. Two. Vampires. Return to me when you are. Vampires. Of interest only to necromancers and alchemists, vampire dust is collected solely with the withering corpse of slain vampires. May the sunlight always safeguard your path. Yeah, it seems like they have a few random. Our uh, brother. You know, comments about vampires and things like that. Our culture regards vampires as destructive monsters to be hunted and destroyed. However, romantic notions of noble virtuous vampires persist in the aristocracy. And then there's another one. Yeah. May the sunlight always safeguard your path. What can the order help you? Greythroat. About the hunt. Weren't you scared at all? I would have been terrified if I had been there. Wow, that was quite the adventure you had. Yeah. I guess that's just me telling him about different times where I fought vampires. Donors. Yes, we need more honorary members. People who like joining secret societies and have some septums to spare. Okay, gotta ask What can the people. order help you with, brother? I have to ask some people to join, I guess. Donors. Yes, it's all on the list I gave you. That's all I could come up with. Recruiting for the order. I asked Sibylline, Sibylline if he would like to go on a vampire hunt with you. He responded that he isn't sure if he would know a vampire if he saw one. I'm pleased to... Yeah. Looking... Serator. Vampire. Touching a vamp... Vampire. We sell all the vampire dust you bring here to some rich alchemist in exchange for potions, information, and the money we pay to you. Information on vampires. <laughs> this is just the same line except unvoiced. Or it might be different. Yeah, it's more random stuff. Be ever okay. vigilant. Vampires are creatures of deceit. Okay, yes, then. brother? Gillen. Gillen. <clears throat> Donors. What we need are more high-profile members like yourself. We need members who can really capture the imagination of the public. Like the Grey Prince. Um, okay. I'm not so sure about these lists. It seems like I should ask around the Elven Gardens, Arena, Imperial Prison, and Talos Plaza districts about any famous or wealthy residents. Yes, brother? Some decide to become vampires thinking they can get cured later, but the cure is so difficult that it is nearly impossible, and the potion can kill the vampire who takes it. Sure, vampirism is cured, but the person is dead. How is that for a thrill? Yeah, lots of stuff like this. I'm afraid there isn't much. I'm. He's. for the order. Sibling Dolavas is not a very open and friendly person. It is hard to really get to know. Vampires are clever, so watch your back. Our brother Yeah, nothing new. May there. the sunlight always Yeah, 
I guess this you is... remind me of my homeland. I guess Jordan this is his light. house now. I didn't know Cerator was. I serve Roland now. Please accept my apology. Welcome back. Yeah. Really should lower the voice because they keep cutting me off. Especially since most of the quest mods don't have voice anyway. Uh, oh, I got the unfortunate people of Hector and happy hunting. Oh, I'll look into those a little bit. Jillian's List, Amadis Philida, the Grey Prince, Publius Scipio, Hieronymus Lex. So, three guards and an actual vampire. Another vampire, Jack Ben Imbel, Yulin Athrum. Umbicano, Iniel Sintav, Adric Perrain. I might just make a super cut of talking to all those people. But for now, let's check in on Merendin, which is northeast of Chaden Hall and east of Fort Telemann. <laughs> or Leowen, not Chaden Hall. Northeast of Leowen and east of Telemann. Submerged in the ground. <laughs> Maybe it'll look nicer later on. So you got the Golden Saint and the Maskin. Oreo and Maskin. Got little Shivering Isles effects here, the little fireflies. And so, here's how they look originally without any mods, any other mods, changing them. Uh, I'm using the uh, revamped faces. So they're gonna look different and then they're gonna look even more different because of the Oblivion character overhaul. Start off with Desser. Destiny has approached. Time to forge a new fate. All females? Just a coincidence. No one summons male, Oreo, or Maskin. Well, nearly no one. It was to be expected that the two of us would be female. As for the Exivile, just a coincidence. We're open for everyone. Few members? We're growing. Just wait and see. Canna. Canane. I'm just gonna go with Canna. Canna. Our first new member, sort of, that is. 
She long served Lord Shea Goreth by protecting a Daedric shrine in Morrowind, but the recent crisis caused the cave to collapse. Now she's here, and brought with her some of the most unique presence. You should talk to her if you get the chance. Kara Shivuel Don't mind her, she's a bit grumpy. Hard to adapt to her new life. So what do we do now? Well, we need to gain a bit of popularity. People need to know about us. Zereshu had a great idea. She somehow got an edition of the Black Horse Courier. <laughs> so they want us to distribute some flyers. I have other pressing matters, of course. Alright, just mention the advertisement to Zereshu. She knows best which places should get some. Summoned. How is it being summoned? Imagine walking through the street, then suddenly being sucked into a black nothingness all around you. Just to find yourself in some ruin, doing biddings of a stranger and facing some big monsters. Not how you've imagined your day. At least you'll keep your form. Daedric weapons, on the other hand. Do you know what makes them so dangerous? It's not the metal. That's your average ebony. Daedric anima are forged into them, so what once was a little clan fur, then suddenly is a claymore. It's our soul strength that fills these weapons with their power. Oh, I've totally forgotten something. We've got a contract. We shall persuade some kid from Valenwood to stop practicing summoning and going back to his family. Can you spare a few minutes to do so? Of course, where is he? <laughs> Great. Many thanks. Now, that's the problem. He was, uh, persuaded by a certain dark elf to go the, his way. Unfortunately, while she looked like a dark elf, she was no dark elf at all. He was last seen in Braville, heading east. I fear the worst. Dark elf. No, no dark elf. We've got a friend in Valen one. Some old acquaintance from better days. He has sent me a description of the woman. I do know her. Mortals see what they want to see. If I don a normal armor, most will only see me as an Ultmer. She used the same trick. <laughs> Our old friend noted a blue hue around the iris. Look at Zerishu. You should know what that means. And guess what? The same maskin was seen around Breville again. I guess she will cause trouble in the future. But she's working for Lord Shagorath. The worst. Whatever he does, it's dangerous. He probably is getting himself killed. You know how troublesome it is to get to Marindan? And we've got rivers and roads just nearby. Besides, what lies east of Breville? East of Breville. There are a lot of conjurer hideouts in Blackwood. I fear he may be heading towards one of them. There's Fort Oris, Fort Bulwark, Fort Intius, Fieldhouse Cave, Fort Sejanus, Fort Glen Hollow, and these are only those I know of, which is to say a lot of places. I never said it would be easy, have I? Lost Child. A Bosmer, pretty young. Black eyes, dark yellowish hair, wears a worn green mage's robe. Zereshu. While I was bound by a conjurer to help clean out this mess of a ruin which didn't work out quite as expected, her story is different. Let's just say someone took the name of Mazkin, are known as too literal, didn't end well. And now she's stuck here. Strange seeing Oriole and Maskin working together, isn't it? So they thought she was a dark seducer. So I'm guessing, yeah. 
advertisement. Well, yes, it should help, shouldn't it? I mean, people have to know that we're here. Take care. Karash, if you will. There's something that needs to be done. A disturbance in the north needs to be cleared. Advertisement. So, the stranded light teleport is very important. Advertisement. Do you really need an explanation why I'm not mentioned? Advertisement. Okay. Disturbance in the north. A exivile is causing a lot of problems up there. Be warned, the exivile's not as friendly as I am. Would you deal with this issue? Be warned though, this can get pretty dangerous with some out of the box thinking. You should be able to clear the situation, though. Alright, tell me more. Alright, you need to go up north. Banish this exivile, and everyone will be happy. Except them, perhaps. Exivile in the north. Yes, there's another of my kin up there. Isn't off of my kin anymore, though. From what I can tell, the exivile isn't aligned with Mayroon's Dagon anymore. Not one helping our cause, neither. A lot of people are already dead, and the Exivile plans to do something. There's a small change in Mundus' magicka flow caused by this Daedrus. I can feel it even here. That has to stop. What I can say is that the Exivile is somewhere in northern Cyrido, perhaps near a Daedric shrine. Ask mortals about around there. Surely one or two of them have noticed something. No, not yet. Then do it. Just imagine me walking around Bruma. Would it end well? The worst. The worst. Hmm. Ever ate an orc brain soup? Tastes like rotting chicken. So what do we do now? I get the impression that I already told you something. Anyway, currently, Tessereo handles the stuff around here. See all the candles? Her idea. Stranded light and all that. What a bother. Rumors, Tessereo, once said that Exivile and Daedra seducers are each other like Maskin and Oreo. Luckily, she's got no idea what she's talking about. Yeah, she's got a whole bunch of random rumor options. Some Daedra seem quite alike for the uninitiated, but are very different in personality and spirit. Orioles versus Maskin, Dromora versus Exivile, to name a few examples. Kara Shivuel. I am Kara Shivua. Do not fear. I am not here to kill, maim, torture, eat, or eviscerate anyone. Sigh. No, this time I've got nothing to do with the sacking of Kavaj, the Battle Spire incident, or the Feast of St. Jube. And you. I am. Another Nord. Sorry to disappoint you. No witches around, wanting to see you naked, steal your axe, and paralyze you. I'm not into that kind of games, really. Er, what? Oh please, you may have noticed that I am an exivile, not a big-eyed little girl crying when she hears a story about dying fawn. Pathetic. 
Actually, I'm the I'm usually I'm the one gutting the poor fawn, its friends and family instead. And don't let me get started on the good old days in which I'd have slurped up Miss Little Girl's intestines too. Oh well, time's changing, even us. Kara Shibuel. I'm Kara. I got the feeling we've already had this discussion, hadn't we? What else is there to say? Rumors. Daedra is an old Murray term, meaning not our ancestors, compared to Aedra, our ancestors. Original spirits, et ada, that sacrificed parts of themselves are considered Aedra by Morris, while all others are considered Daedra, a thin line. Zereshu. I am Zereshu of Stranded Light. Nice to make your acquaintance. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry. I've mistaken you for one of the visitors coming here from time to time. So, I had to change her. Yeah, I had to change her eyes. <laughs> Which are now fixed. Uh, let's keep going. Zereshu. That would be me. I've got a lot to do. Keep the place running. Disarrayal. Takes care of the micro ma macro management. The vis visions, so to speak. I'm responsible for the micro manager. <coughs> like keeping the place supplied. Making sure the walls are kept intact. Or at least don't get any worse conditions. And of course keeping in contact with our associates throughout the world. And evaluating the tasks people ask of us. You wouldn't believe what some people think we do. Only because we've got Kara Shivyu. We're no cheap substitute for the Dark Brotherhood. But I digress. Are there any questions you'd like to have answered? So what do we do now? Setting up shop. Better ask Thessarael. For now, she's currently doing the planning. Advertisement. Well, yes, we have a little advertisement. I had a long talk with someone from the Black Horse Courier, which barely involves swords. You wouldn't believe what an impression Kara has if she's just standing behind you. Anyway, we've got our own Black Horse Cour Courier edition. Unfortunately, part of the <clears throat> deal was that we deliver them ourselves. So you're going to bring them to all innkeepers in Cyrodiil and the Madhouse. There should be 29 in this world and 2 in our home. If you succeed in delivering 25 of them, enough people will know about us. So go ahead. Should be easy enough. I'll take care of the merchants. Oh, and the two innkeepers of the Shivering Isles are especially important. If you deliver our advertisement to them, you'll get a nice little present from me. Good luck to you. Questions? Yes, what would you like to know? Yeah, we too much talking in this one, so I'll save those for later. Nothing right now. Have a good day. Why is there 31? I thought it said 29. New Guild, Stranded Light. Many people need help from time to time, and there are many organizations in Cyrodiil offering help. Do you need a cave cleared? Trolls? You've got the Fighters Guild. An item recharge? The Mage Guild. An ill relative killed? The what? When was the last time you saw an Imperial Cult healer traveling to a recursive, reclusive village? After the death of Euroseptum, Cyrodiil became a darker place, bandits and marauders are roaming the landscape, Dagon's minions went visiting Mundus, monsters breed in abundance, and who will now help people in need of help, not in need of a sword or spell? Traveling the world has been become dangerous, and only seasoned adventurers and veterans can travel the world safely. That's the place the new guild, named the Stranded Light, likes to take. If there's anything needing to be done, just pay Miranda in a visit, or drop a note, and it will be done. Yes, the Stranded Light is open to everyone, wherever he or she may be. Miranda is a recently cleaned alien ruin in southeastern Cyrodiil, Black Marsh 
border. Just follow the Panther River and at its spring turn south. Famous members, the hero of Kavach, who single-handedly liberated Kavach and rescued innumerable survivors. Fessere, once a commander of a small task force defending the Longing Coast and the Isle of Flame. Zeresh, a well-known diplomat, served once as ambassador, ambassador for Pinnacle Rock in New Shayoth. So yeah, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, the eyes are broken, I got interrupted, and I went and talked to Kana over here and saw that her eyes, I forgot to change, so I spent a lot of time trying to fix it. I might go back to the revamped faces later on, but I figured I'd show the original faces for now. Destiny has approached time to forge. Uh, yeah. About Kara Shivuel. What about her? She's alright in her own way. Of course she is. We all are. I guess it's even more difficult for her to adapt to her new life. We Oriole and Maskin had our always a lot to do with mortals that involved words and not swords. Zivile, on the other hand, it's a good thing she has joined us. It gives me hope that the Stranded Light can help all Daedra finding a new place, regardless of their history. I mean, try to top an exhibit. There are a few humanoid Daedra known to have a similar tendency toward destruction. Hmm, maybe Daedra seducer, but they destroy with different means. You too. Yeah, I think the eyes are a little different. They're not, like, vanilla. Well I don't know. You too. Have you banished the exilia? No, not yet. Okay. We'll talk to Kana. Go ahead, please. So, Kanane. <laughs> yes, I am Kana. At your service. What do you wish, mortal? Painting. Rumors. My favorite. Ah, that's true. Paintings. Yes, a great idea, isn't it? I can draw and paint quite nicely. I've got an eye for good situations and beauty. My thought was as simple as elegant. The people need to lose their fear. They need to know our faces. And how could this be easier? By seeing us day after day after day. That's why I already sent a lot of pictures, all I was able to bring with me, and I could paint before you've arrived, to people in Cerda, willing to show them to the public. I have to admit, I fear Zerish Shoes' plan with the Black Horse Courier won't bring the acceptance we need, therefore I will let the mortal people see us as we are, beautiful. If you like, myself and the others can tell you more about each painting you'll see, what do you say? Of course. Alright, just go to any picture you'll see, inspect it, so you can make out its details and speak with me or whoever is painted on it. Maybe even with those gracious souls exposing our paintings in public. A small caveat though, do not expect me to be able to say anything about human pictures. I've seen too few of them and my interest in their arts is not the highest. So, this is a says it's completed but the quest is ongoing uh, you can talk to her about all the paintings you find and it's kind of like a collect-a-thon you know collect all the items except all you have to do is walk up to a picture and then you could they're painting and then you could talk to people about it if you find all the paintings there's a little surprise in it Nothing too big, but it's more of a cosmetic thing. What do you want? Which I think is a really nice way of doing a collectathon, you know. No quest clogging up my quest log. No items to clog up my inventory. Stranded light Re reliquary. 
or iniquity. Our local mask can, can tell you more about it. After all, it was her invention. Wish. I am not one for granting wishes. Best asking Clavicus Vile for that. Although, thinking about it, maybe you can help us a bit. I see, unlike yourself, we don't have the liberty to run around. People need to come to us instead, which is a bit difficult. This place is totally off the roads, so we need another solution. In Morrowind, the Mage's Guild had guild guides able to teleport you from one guild to another. This is, that is missing in Cyrodiil. Guild guide. So the question is, if you would be willing to help us set up a similar transportation network, Marindin including, of course. I have more pressing matters. Of course! Great, now listen up. While the Mages Guild has halls in all major cities, but I doubt that the individual leaders may decide for themselves. I fear you'll have to deal with the Council of Mages, or at least their speaker, some mortal in Arcane University. And then there's the issue of persuading each Guild Hall's leader. Why? Well, let's just say we have an idea. Excluding Bruma, which won't allow any teleportation means due to being near Cloud Ruler, there are currently eight teleportation targets. We'd like to have half of these positions filled with Daedra, mortals for some strange reason, except us if we're forced to serve the Mage's Guild, so this can be our way into their cities. So get going, and good luck. And before I forget, Bravil, Chadenhall, Skingrad, and Coral should be Daedric guild guides. Why these cities, you're asking? The Arcane University won't allow any of us there while having a free will. Together with Merendin, these cities form a ring around the capital. Best chance to get mortals used to us. A remote swamp hole like Leowin? Not so much. Not that Bravil is much better, but still, not that far off. So as far as, so as I've said, good luck and get going. So yeah, the Breville thing Roma, is not obviously Breville. spoilers. Uh, it gets destroyed by the necromancers, <laughs> so that's why there's none in Breville. Uh, Bruma. But I guess saying it's due to the, to the blades is a nice excuse. <laughs> Have you banished these? No, not yet. See, and you can ask them about the paintings. I mean, have you seen the paintings she made of me? They were done in Merendin, which may be able to identify, but me? Do I really look like this? At least what she did to Tesserael was even more horrible. Maybe later. Well, well paintings. It's a very great idea. I support it. People have to know that we're not monsters. What better way there is than pictures? None. They're lovely, and I love the clothes I got, and the places I visited. Don't let the mumblings of Tesser and Kara drag the idea down. It's a great attempt at showing the world how we are. Stranded Light Reliquary. It's our way of storing goods, which you can also use. Don't mistake it for an ordinary container. Ever heard of the arcane chest spell? Well, our reliquary has something in common with them. Each of us has her or his own space. What Kara Shell puts in won't appear to you. Most importantly, importantly, whichever reliquary you use, you access the same storage. Consider the chest in Mirandin only as one possible gate. Example given, not long ago I helped a friend in Shivering Isles who had to go into hiding. So a reliquary place, their goods could be sent from one place to another. I just had to get there then, because only I could take the things out I had put in elsewhere. It was our test run, and while it has its flaws, it's still very great and useful boon. Use it well. Have one in my houses? In theory, yes. I can provide some for other places. However, it's an expensive thing. Such a reliquary. Eight Varla stones and ten times as much gold is needed. Otherwise, I won't be able to have them created. 
Here they are. I do not think so. Yeah, I don't have eight Varla stones, but I'm a little confused about. Is she saying 80 gold? <laughs> That's nothing. Oh, and there's also this. It's a book explaining all the less annoying magic experience spells. I'm gonna read through it now. No, 72 pages. So I think that should be good for here. Uh, the reason Kana is here is because we got fame since we joined the Stranded Light. Uh, she gets, she shows up after you gain like 20 fame after joining and she brings a lot of stuff with her. Different architecture items and like the reliquary and a book out there. So, for my other character who hasn't gained any fame since joining, it'll just be the other three. And it won't have all the other items that those 61 items that Kanan Kana brings with her. So, let's go check on that other one. All right, and here we are back on the seducer. Uh, over in the waterfront. In case it isn't obvious, we have gotten uh, better cities. That just keeps happening. So, saw this weird looking person running over here. Normally her house would be all alone, but Better Cities gives her a whole bunch of company. So yeah, we're at the waterfront. So like, there's one of the paintings. Pretty sure all you have to do is get like kind of close to it, not completely on top of it. But I think if you just see it from across the room, it might not trigger for the painting quest and asking people about the paintings. Can I have a moment of your time? Imperial City. That's the name of the city. Can't say anything. I'm quite new around here. Something's unusual about you. Me? Something not right? Of course not. Just look at this. Skin. What about your skin? Why yes, skin. See, there was some foolish concept passed some time ago. One dealing with Suthe and Ohms and Palmer and all that. Your point is? I'm not allowed in Cyrodiil, more or less. At least in my normal appearance, so I need to shave myself over and over again. A pain. What do you mean you're shaved? Yes, shaved. Look closely at my ears. I can't hide them completely, you see. Dang, someone has to do something about the Suthe Act. <coughs> Suthe Act. Some moral guardians forced the foolish concept that only more feline Khajiiti breeds are allowed in Cyrodiil. This needs to change. Will you help? Help. Okay, great. Let's bring down the Suthe Decree as if there's nothing easier. Wait, you're serious, aren't you? Do you really want to help? No, not really my cup of tea. I'd like to help. Great. We need to get rid of the Suthe Decree. Usually the Emperor could revoke it, but we're currently without an Emperor, and the Main doesn't have any authority here. And the Elder Council isn't available at all. Sending letters doesn't work, trust me. I've tried. No, there's only one who can help us. Unfortunately, this one is many. 
the counts and countesses of Cyrodiil. If enough of them are persuaded, we can bring an end to the Suthay decree. How to persuade them? This I cannot say. Some may require you to help them in return. Some may be bribed. For others, you'll need a silver tongue. Remember, you don't need to persuade all of them. Only most of them. Five should be enough. Yeah, if you talk to her again, she just... I'm sorry. I can't help you any further. We shouldn't even be seen talking to each other. I don't want to be revealed before the Suthe decree is history. So yeah, I'm just gonna cut in talking to the different counts so I can get that covered. All right. So here we are in Breville. Let's hear. Let's hear. Regulus Torrentius. Help them. I'm the. Soothsay decree. Provoke it. You get even more filthy animals in our fair city. Rules are there for a reason, and there's a good reason that only Suthe and even more feline furligers are allowed in our providence. Khajiit are animals. The more are allowed, more will come, and then it will be like elsewhere, <laughs> where these beasts even fornicate under trees. Disgusting. Blech. There are worse things than Khajiit. Take skooma and moon sugar. Turns people into loonies. Where do both of these come from? Elsewhere. Yes. There are worse things than fur lickers. Stuff coming from fur lickers. Ah, uh, Orcs, nearly as bad as Khajiit. Or variants, but not as bad. So tell me, what's worse than Khajiit? Conjuration. Daedra. Like, you know, yourself. Oh, please. I can see through those funky illusions. I know you are not what you are. Yes, they draw about the worst thing that walks on the earth. If they walk on the earth, our earth, as they've currently doing, for whatever reason. And here's where you come to play. There's a dark seducer in town, trying to drive my son into madness. She has enticed the guards. They won't stop her. Banish her or die trying. Then you'll have my support. Oh, and I've already tried shooting her with an arrow. It didn't work. You have to sever her link to our world. Good luck and happy dying. Uh, I don't really want to get involved. Then why did you bring up this topic? Now either deal with her or I'll have you thrown in irons for stealing my precious time. Sever the link. Then go and find her. Send her back to wherever she came from. She should be somewhere around the castle. Go ahead. The dark seducer won't trouble you. She's still outside the castle. You must be the worst liar in all Cyrodiil's history. Yes? Yeah. Suthe decree. Again with the Suthe decree. Oh well. There are worse things than Khajiit. Tax collectors. And where do you think the money for guards, schools, and medical care comes from? From our chapels. Taxes are a necessity. So I think the mercantile is 75. Conjuration is the... You get the quest. And locations is true. There are bad places in the world. Some may even be worse than Breville or Khajiit. Ever heard of Vivek City? Ugh. Tell you what, I'll support your request, but only if you sign here a little advertisement for Breville. You know that there are worse places. Breville. Yes. Yeah, for the locations one, you have to have 
discovered 250 locations or places found 255 so that's part of why it took me so long to get this out because I'm trying to do it legitimately going around discovering places if you uh, have mods or you go to the Shivering Isles, it makes it a little more easy to do. While we're so on the way to Leo Leowin, we came across uh, Karizi here in Border Watch. So she goes in between Border Watch and Smiling Camp. this one do for you uh, Kajiti scout oh these ones are just here to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that do for you Karizi's here to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that there's a lot to be done here don't you think too what exactly are you doing give freely to the people of course what else is there to do there's a lot of important things needed to be done, not able to finish it in this one's lifetime properly. Maybe you could help this one. What do you have in mind? Karizis a Kajit of old dot. Kazi Novano Dizana Yuliza. This one <laughs> <laughs> There's an issue with the Sutha Act. While this one doesn't fall under it, she knows a lot of brothers and sisters that do. One Ohm's Wraith is already working against it, though. Help her. She's in the Imperial City. Ravindi's the name. It would help us all greatly to get it removed. Aside from that, there's the issue of a missing tax collector. So she gives a little hint about where to start the Suthe Decree quests, just in case you find her before you find Revendry. Uh, if the Suthe Decree quest is completed, she gives a hint to a different uh, quest involving a Holmes Wraith. So, missing tax collector. Yes. It's quite a complicated situation. Have you ever heard of Black and March? After Uriel's death, some tax collectors tried to make a bit of money, more money than their normal salary. Now Black and March is an isolated village east of Leowen. The tax collector told them about a new funeral tax. Well, Thieves Guild is already involved trying to intercept him before he reaches the Imperial City. Unfortunately, he never crossed the panther's mouth, and was never seen again. The money seems lost. Gold, I could donate money for them. Well, this one thinks that honors you. That's not what it's about. It's about justice. Who else to show the population of this occupied lands who's on their side, and who are corrupt bureaucrats? Location. I could look for out for him. So this one requires 75 gold. The other one, or not 75 gold. You have to have discovered 75 locations. The gold one doesn't do anything. And there is a mysticism one that requires mysticism and intelligence to be over 50. So location. I could look out for him. Great. Well then, it's important to know who you're looking for, isn't it? He was an imperial, fair hair, a shadow of a beard, brown eyes, and in his middle age, probably with some kind of green dress. He had two bodyguards, former imperial legion members from Morrowind, a male orc and a female red guard. So uh, this one wishes you good luck. Best start in Black and March. So for the 
to get this quest right now, you would have to be... You need at least 60 personality, 5 infamy, or be uh, Khajiit. If you don't have those things, there's a way to get the quest later on. The Nord will probably have to do it that way. Actually, no, he wouldn't because he has lots of infamy. So here's Leowen. Soothe a decree. Revoke it. I'm sorry, but Leowen can't afford to do so. Our diplomatic bonds with elsewhere are stressed. More than that, even Khajiit are upset that the Elder Council gave us control of the Nibin Delta. Some do not take so kindly, like the citizens of our fair city. There's the Rinjira Kren, Khajiit Freedom Fighters, or other nonsense. There have caused enough strife in the past. Currently, the Rinjira Kren isn't that popular. They've resorted to supporting criminal bands like the Black Bow Bandits. But without the Suthe Decree, the more mannish Khajiit could sway the tide in their favor. Most people see the Suthe and Suthe Wraith as a bit strange. The more human-like Khajiit, not so much. They pose a danger to Leowen, which I'm not ready to take. So, Speechcraft is pretty hard. It's You have to have 95. The Suthe Decree is unjust. Unjust? I'll tell you what's unjust. Seeing villages burned to the ground, hearing stories of kidnapped children and wives, seeing skooma pouring from elsewhere throughout the empire. The world is not just, and some bring their doom down onto themselves. So you need 95 speechcraft, and you need to have saved Kavach, or be a Khajiit, or Ohms. Uh, position, I can deal with all threats, is that so? No, I don't think so. Few are powerful enough. The eternal champion, perhaps, Uncle Fur, or was it Crassius? Maybe. Vivek, if he hadn't have disappeared. You, not so much. Uh, if you're champion of Cyrodiil, the position one works. Deeds works if you are a, if you do the quest with Mazoga the Orc and become a knight and you are also a Khajiit or Ohm's Wraith. Knights protecting them. I don't think so. Or do you mean my city guards? No, they're no knights. Their speci specialty is everyday crime, not going on crusades against terrorists. I wouldn't want them to go out hunting the Kren like I wouldn't want them to go searching for deadly ticks on a min minotaur. <laughs> also, if you complete the tax collector quest and return the gold to the count, then you could pass the quest that way. And I think for the speechcraft one, if you pass that with the 95 and are a certain rank in the Court of Madness, to get the Wabajack, then you can use the Wabajack on him as well. Next up, Jaden Hall. Suthe Decree. Revoke it. Why? You don't know why it's in place? Why am I not surprised? Listen up. I will not repeat myself. The Suthe Decree was an idea of the main. The spiritual leader of elsewhere, most captured Khajiit are were Ohms and Ohms Wraith, back at the unfortunate times of slavery in Morrowind. Now that these times have passed, why doesn't the Main itself want to revoke the Suthe Act? The answer is simple. Elsewhere profits from the Suthe Act. Ohm spies are usually mistaken for Bosmer, can get into positions where no Khajiit would be tolerated. Revoking the act could cause dire consequences in these times of crisis. I can't have that, no. 
also for deeds, uh, you had to have saved his son and became a knight of the thorn. Chaden, deed. Chaden all has weathered worse. If one of my knights had said that, I may have believed it. You know nothing about Chaden Hall. Don't press your luck. Uh, speechcraft is 75. Strength and diplomatic links. Well, yes, that may be. But have you ever spoken with one of the more xenophobic Imperials and Nords and Bretons? Obviously, you haven't. Ever read one of the Norbert Grey Wolf's complaints? Ah. When I first received his letters, I had to look up what a furry was. No way am I going to allow this nonsense to even spread further. Mercantile is uh, 50, and then you have to pay or bribe him with like 10,000 gold. How about a deal? A deal with you? I don't steal candy from kids. So yeah, another one where I fail miserably. But at least I only need five. So now in uh, Skingrad here, we have to stop by the Mage's Guild, come up the stairs, take a right, and need to get this book right here. It'll help us out later on. If you're not in the Mage's Guild and someone's around, ah, you might have to steal it, so make sure you're not seen. might depend on your rank, whether you can take it or not, without it being stealing. And now we're here at the castle. The Count's a bit of a recluse, so I have to talk to Hal Lu Luriz. So, Suse Decree. You've already met the Council, right? Count, he has a task for you. Bring him a bottle of Ohm's Wraith blood and he'll support your request. So if you say you won't do it, you won't commit, I am not going to commit this monstrosity, then you can't get his support. Okay, I'll do it. Great, take this. It's an enchanted dagger and vial. Stab an Ohm's Wraith with it, and you'll have the blood. Ohm's Wraith blood. You don't have any. Come back when you have some. You'll have to... Nah. So now, let's see. So the only <laughs> the only Ohm's Wraith we know right now is Revendry, so we'll have to go talk to her. Uh, also, if you're using, you probably noticed there's different races in my game. There's the Ohm's Wraith and Oriole, and they're all enemies out in the world that's part of a plug-in with race balancing project so if you have that you can also just go out and find a random bandit that happens to be an ohms wraith and stab them ah, good thing she's here you were successful in Breville. Great news, indeed. Though I must say, I'm still surprised that Breville even has a vote in the Elder Council. The place as a whole. Not that it matters much. It's a great success in our campaign, campaign don't you think? Oh well, we shouldn't be seen talking to each other. Don't want to be revealed before Suze de Cray is history. Why are you looking at me like you do? You know you, we shouldn't be seen talking together, especially not when you're looking at me like you are. Oh, I was hoping I could buy. Ohm's Wraith Blood. How typical. Mages of all kinds have always tried to solve the enigma of our race. 
How does this 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 soul sorcerer really think the secret lies in our blood? Disgusting. Is this really necessary? Personality check is sixty. So if you can pass the speechcraft and alchemy, it's fifty. Uh, the illusion one. Uh, if you're really bad at it, she calls the guards. If you're kind of bad, she doesn't call the guards. <laughs> but it doesn't work. And if you're good at illusion, like 75 or over 50, then I think it's 75. Then she, you trick her into giving her blood, but then you get infamy. Uh, let's try this. He seeks a cure for skooma. What does blood have to do with skooma addiction? Especially my blood. Nothing. I'm no skooma sucker. So yeah. Persuading the counts is difficult. I appreciate your help. I really do. Mm, okay then. I just hope that it'll break down the Suthay decree. So, back here. Ohm's Wraith Blood. The Count will be pleased. Expect your request to be fulfilled. But yeah, if you have any other... If you've met any other Ohm's Wraith or... If you just want to stab her, you can just stab her, and then run away. All right, now here we are in Coral. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. Suthe decree. Coral is far from any struggles. Whatever happens outside our walls doesn't need to interest us. If we take part in quarrels which aren't our own, we suffer. Where was the Empire as? Charis died fighting marauding Nords. Ah, not necessarily Ohm's Wraith. They can be spotted. Ohm's, on the other hand, think about meeting a handsome man looking like a myrrh and later finding out that he is some kind of cat. Makes people nervous, especially today. Are you able to spot the differences between an Oriole and an Oltmer? Between a Dark Elf and a Dark Seducer? They say their eyes give them away, but imagine how close they'll have to be to you'll have to be to any of them. What does this have to do with interrupt me not? There are some rumors about Khajiit. Ever read the uncensored version of the real Baron Zaya? No, I didn't. Yes, for some strange reason. Those new Vardenfell edition without some parts are quite popular, and the original was forgotten. With our current government, that's no wonder. Anyway, if you'd like to have my support, then, you're going to find out if there is any truth to that passage, which was taken away. So are you going to help? Of course. All right, it should be fairly simple. Get a copy of the uncensored version, then ask any Khajiit if there is any truth to that. The people in Coral, Coral should be able to help you. It really shouldn't take you more than a walk through the city. So, gotta do a little extra with this one as well. They could just ask around. Yeah, I don't think just anyone works. Hello. So if you head on over to the Oak Encrosure. Inkeep is a Khajiit, so maybe she can help. But she will help later on. It's mine. Nope, no, not. 
There's another painting up here. Some teeth. So if you wait till nighttime, there should be someone that comes in here and can help you out. Nine's good. Yep, there she is. So, Chandra the Bloodthirsty is one of the less annoying magic experience uh, vendors, mate, merchants, mage, the spell merchants. Coral. Oh, I am sorry. New in town. Don't know much about it. However, I can already tell you that Coral has a spicy nightlife. She's a vampire, by the way. Rumors. Ah. The real Baron Zaya. Of course, I've got a copy of the censored version passage right here. Some dusty version, though. Shouldn't matter to you. Well, say, I've got an idea. You bring me a fine hooch, fine wine, while I copy it for you. Go, hooch. Good day. Fine wine. This one is not sure. Chandra never ordered anything. The finest wines you can currently get are those in the year 399. Although there are two, and it is unknown to Tazalma which she would prefer. A pleasure to speak. So, fine wine. Great. Just give me the bottle. Here. Do you smell its parfum? <laughs> Moonlight on grapes. Ah, fantastic. Just close. Ah, and here's your copy. Nice dreams. Ah. So yeah, you need a Tamika 399. Welcome to the oak enclosure. This and then the Talasma can verify whether it's true or not. The real Baron Zaya. Let me see it. Hmm. That is, uh. Oh no. That myth. Listen up. This one is pretty sure that the old myths are correct, which is there are only Ellen Fay and the Hist. But let's ignore the Argonians' ancestors for now. The text just went by appearance, not by origin. It's a myth, at least as far as I know. And I do know a bit, so... Er... Any more questions? No, no more questions. Okay then, have a nice day. So now we're back. It's a pleasure to meet you. So, the real Baron Zaya. So it's a myth? Thanks for investigating this little mystery. I still wonder what mind had these kind of ideas. I mean, in a way, it sounded plausible. Oh well. But the Chandra you mentioned, hmm. Better keep an eye on her. You don't look too good yourself. Maybe you should see a healer. So, the reality behind the real Baron's Zaya completed. Which, yeah, it's, I guess, yeah, it is kind of implied that she sucks your blood. She uses the wine to distract you and then takes a bite out of you and gives you the vampire disease. All right, now here we go with Anvil. What's up, Gray Fox? Uh, Sute Decree. Oh dear, what a request. I fear Anvil is in no place to get involved. We're too close to Valenwood. Valen. <laughs> Even if we ignore Hammerfell for now, Khajiit and Wood Elves just don't get along. Do you remember the Five Year War? I was a child back then. The sight of a blood red horizon darkened by smoke was burned forever in my memories. It was by the merest luck that the war didn't extend into County Anvil. 
doing something for the Khajiit may uproot the already frail peace. I just can't understand the animosity between the two races. I mean, I know the political reasons that the Khajiit were upset about the invading forest and the Bosmer were upset about the Khajiit hacking trees away, and then everything got out of hand. Even here, far away from any border dispute, there's some kind of tension between them. A bit like between a Nord and a Dark Elf, but don't get me started on that. If I could understand why there is this animosity, I could at least guess what would happen if the Suthe Decree gets revoked. Until then, though, I'd like to stay neutral. Anvil is well protected. Protected by whom? Do you think the city guard will stand a chance against the tide of war? Should it extend to our county? So yeah, you can try and say that the Fighters Guild or the Mages Guild or the Golden Saints and Dark Seducers will protect Anvil if you're the leader of the Fighters Guild, Mages Guild, and Shivering Isles. But that doesn't work. I don't have any idea, to be honest. You're not alone with this. So, the book we picked up in Skingrad is... Uh, where is it? Yeah, Words of Clan Mother and NSI. So, yeah. Yeah, when you pick it up, you can just read it over it. Anasai tells you you're no longer Mewkin. Uh... But yeah, this is the book you need to show her the reason. What can I do for you? Suthe Decree. Again with the Suthe Decree? Oh well. Lore. Khajiit Creation Myth. Interesting. So one of those mysterious clan mothers actually wrote down the Khajiiti creation myth. Do you have a copy of that book with you? Unfortunately not. Yes, I've got one right here. Great. Give me the book, please. Of course. Here it is. Thank you very much. Of course I'll help you getting rid of that law. So if you're a Khajiit, Ohm's Wraith, or a Wood Elf, you can just tell her and if you don't go to Skingrad you can also get uh, the book from Kane I think you can either buy it from her or steal it from the guild hall at Merendin what can I, do? I feel like there was some kind of back door where you just ask the Grey Fox to help you if he's back to being a count again but I couldn't find anything about that <laughs> so I think we're on to the last one hopefully we can get it at Bruma oh no you don't I think I know why you're here but I'd speak to my herald, Tolbin, first. I believe he has something for you. I think I know why you're here. No, that's not why I'm here. <laughs> Good day. I'm Tolgan, herald to Countess Narina Carvain here in Bruma. She requests... Countess Carvain would prefer if you speak... My lady holds court... Okay. Safe journey, my lady. <laughs> Yeah, that's the. I've heard much about. I trust the stipend told in game. Good. I'm. Yeah, that's the vanilla quest. Suthe decree. Revoking the Suthe decree. Have you thought about the consequences? I like you, but a place in Cyrodiil is limited. If we lift the Suthe decree, I fear there will be a migration. Just look at where most Suthe and Suthe wraith currently live. Reville, Leowin, in short, the Nivenae re region. And why is that so? 
Jaden Hall is dangerously close to Merle Morrowind. The time of slavery has passed, but the memory remains. Anvil is dangerously close to Valenwood. The Five Year War is still fresh in the memory, too. If you draw a line through Cyrodiil, through the places where most Khajiit live, you'll end up with a line through Leowin, Border Watch, Prevail, Imperial City, and last, Bruma. Except that in Bruma, at most, three of them are living. I don't have anything against new citizens. Unfortunately, with the current crisis and Cloud Ruler Temple nearby, I fear we could easily run out of supplies. So for Bruma, the Mercantile, pay for supplies, you would give your gold so that Bruma can stock up with enough supplies. Be aware that we're talking about a lot of supplies. Also, some weapons and armor are necessary so that the people are able to help defending our city. Even if Bruma will pay the half, you would still need to help us out with 225,000 gold. So I can give her the gold. You need at least 25 mer mercantile to pass the check and be able to pay the gold, but I don't want to. I'm not that rich. You can also give her a lot of supplies. Oh, <laughs> you do? Really, Bruma would need at least 100 pieces of ham, beef, 300 lettuce, 500 grapes, 100 carrots, 10 silver longswords, coming with the same number of chainmail curse, curiouses, Helmets, boots, greaves, and bracers, and ten light iron shields. I really doubt you'll have that many with you. If you do actually have all those items, you can give them to her. But it's, like, almost impossible. <laughs> to gather all them, and not to mention the weight required. Race. Khajiit can help defending Bruma. So for this one, you have to save Kavach and be a Ohm's Wraith or a Khajiit. Say what you will like about Nords, but I do trust them a bit more in times of crisis. So, I need to give this more thought. Oh. Ah, no, I don't want that. So, yeah. We have one, two, three, four so far. And we've been to every major city except for Kavach. Oh, damn it. So So, Savlan Mattis, how can I help you? Suthe Decree. I don't know how much power my word holds in these times, but as interim ruler of Kavach, I hereby support your request. Thanks again, hero of Kavach. Best updated. Suthe Decree. So now. We could try to get all the other counts or to agree, but if we just go to Ravindri, she will tell us that we have achieved what we needed to. You can also start seeing uh, some Suthe Wraith pop up around different locations.
So here is Revendry. Hi there, glad to see you. As you may see, the Suthay Decree is history. You've helped me a lot, and a lot of other unfortunate souls who can now be themselves, or come into Cyrodiil. I already heard that the famous model, Memeria, has a painting session here in Cyrodiil. Finally, the times are going to change for us too. So please, accept this little family heirloom as a gift. Thanks again. So yeah, that one. That one gives a lot of experience, I guess. With Oblivion XP. It's kind of a long quest. Thanks so much, I can finally be myself. Braville. Not a place for me. And truth be told, I can't imagine any other Ohms or Ohms Wraith living there. A couple of other travelers will pass through, but won't stay there. And as far as I'm concerned, I'd rather stay in some inn outside of the city. Reville is a mess. Nothing else. Bruma. More Skyrim than Cyrodiil. Too cold for me. Imperial City. There are worse locations. Ever been in certain places and elsewhere? Even the downtrodden waterfront has some style left. Didn't sink as far. I'm glad that I moved here. It's a new beginning for me. A new beginning in a less than nice location, but still. Better than my old home, that's for sure. And there are no sandstorms around here. You can't believe how happy I am about this. Ironic that here I am, able to swim to get sand out of my fur that won't come out. And elsewhere, though, well, I'm glad I'm here now. Boomers. Do not believe the lies, the Rangira Kryn. They do not care for their clanmates, only for themselves. They've taken over cities and elsewhere, and they became worse than even mud holes like Breville. They must not succeed. So yeah, she has some unique rumors of her own. So, yeah, this video was kind of long. Uh, sorry if it was boring. And just remember to use the uh, timestamps if you want to skip the different parts. Because, yeah, that was a pretty long video with lots of talking and not much else. Try and diversify it a little more and make it as interesting as I can. Well, see you next time.